Hi everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make someone look younger. Now, take this image for instance. Um, I made a mock-up image just to show you what it's going to look like. So here it is. So, old, young, old, young. Um, this is not a completely perfect picture because I haven't spent that uh, much time on it. Just to showing you what you can create at the end of the day. So first things first is we're going to load our image into Photoshop now if you're new to Photoshop and you don't know what you're doing we're going to go to file we're going to go to open and then select your image now once it's loaded into Photoshop we want to get to work basically so things uh, we're going to do is double click on that layer to unlock it like so and we're going to duplicate that layer which you can do this by dragging and dropping onto the new layer icon on the bottom right hand side sorry now once you've done that we're going to hide that layer we're going to go back to the other layer which is layer 0 and we're going to go and go to filter we're going to go to blur and gaussian blur now you want to play around with this setting because each image is different I mean with this image I'm going to go for 21.4 pixels radius um, basically all you want to do is make sure that the wrinkles actually blend in so you don't see anything but you don't want to go too much so you don't see any of the picture at all so you want to go OK once you've got that right and we're going to go and unhide that image again by clicking the little eye icon right next to the image make sure that layer is selected uh, the copy one and we're going to go to the eraser tool make the brush a bit bigger and we're just going to take all the wrinkles out now these are just taking the small wrinkles out now if you was going to take the bigger wrinkles which are just here and here by the cheekbones um, which I'll show you how to do but I mean I'm going to leave them in because I think it adds character to this image which is pretty good but if you did want to do that I'll show you in a minute so just doing this very quickly you want to make sure that you go uh, zoom in also to make sure that you haven't uh, missed anything out because you don't want it to look a bit weird like that we're going to lower the brush down and we're going to go over the nose like that now you don't want to go too far because you don't want to take all the detail out you want to go over the eyelids like that just up to the eye, just underneath it take them wrinkles out also like that go over this side of the cheek and just above the mouth now you want to zoom in on the mouth also that zoom in now you get these just go right near the lips not over the lips though because we don't want to uh, blur them out because we're gonna have to do something with them later zoom in just go over the nose a bit more over them wrinkles there lower the brush down go above this eye like so just up here like that and we're going to zoom out now after you've done that uh, you might want to get rid of the big wrinkles which are just here and here which I said I'm going to leave in but if you was to do so you can do that by going to the patch tool which you can find on the left hand side if you can't find it it's probably underneath the spot healing brush tool just hold your mouse on it and you'll get a bigger selection and select the patch tool now to use this sort of tool you zoom in and if you're working the same as me you want to merge them two layers together because otherwise you're working on sort of a blank background so we're going to merge them two like that and you're just going to go over select that like so bring it over 
to somewhere that has no wrinkle and press Control and D to deselect. Now you've got something like that, which is pretty good. Um, if you were so to do that, and you might get a little bit of a different colour defect in the cheeks. Um, you can go back and do the blur technique as I showed you before and then just erase it so it blends in perfectly. Now I'm going to go back because I don't want to do that. I want to leave them in because I think it looks okay. Now once you've done that we're going to go in and change the eyes, the eye colour. So we're going to duplicate that layer by dragging and dropping. We're going to go to the pen tool and zoom in on the eyes and we're just going to click to select these eyes just doing this very quickly now if you're not too sure on how to do these eye techniques and stuff like this uh, you can refer back to my other tutorials which is shows you all you'll need to know even the skin tutorial on how to take the imperfections out of your skin you can refer back to that one which gives you some more detail in on how to do that now once you've done that you're going to right click in the eye you're going to go to make selection you want the feather radius to be about one click OK zoom out again now we're going to press and hold control and U and you're going to get this hue and saturation come up now we're going to click colorize we're going to darken the to the lightness down a bit bring the saturation up now we're going to bring to like a blue probably like a darker blue something like there so if you want this sort of color it's going to be hue 216 saturation 37 and lightness minus 41 but you want to you know go with your instinct depending on your picture click OK press Control and D to deselect now zoom out a bit more now it's probably a bit too intense so we're going to bring the opacity down a bit on there somewhere like there which looks fine now after that now she hasn't got that much color in her cheeks at the moment which is you know it's okay but you you know you want to basically give her some youth and you know so from here we're going to merge all these layers together so control and click on all of them right click and then press merge layers now we're going to duplicate that layer So we always have a backup. If we go wrong, we can always go back. We're going to hide the bottom layer. Now from here, we're going to make a new blank layer, like that. Now we're going to go and change our color. You can do this by clicking on the color on the left-hand side. We're going to go for a pink, but not too deep. Somewhere like there. If you want um, this pink color, it's F451DF and that's the code for this color then click OK I'm going to go to our brush I'm going to make the brush a bit bigger somewhere like that and we're just going to put it on to her cheek there now you're probably thinking oh my god that's really intense color don't worry because it's not going to be like that we're going to go to filter we're going to go to blur Gaussian blur I'm going to bring the radius up just so it blends in like so so it gives the cheek a hint of color so she doesn't look completely pale then we're going to click OK now that's all great now what you can do is we're going to give her some lipstick so let's make a new blank layer I'm going to zoom in now let's go and give her some bright pink lipstick like that lower the brush down now we're going to paint over her lips now don't worry I know what you're thinking it's probably a bit too intense and it don't merge in at all we're going to go to the uh, where is it sorry overlay like that we're going to bring the opacity down zoom out a bit So my opacity is going to be about 17%. We're going to zoom in. We're going to take the eraser tool on there. Make sure you've got that selected, that layer. And we're just going to erase around the lips. So any 
something that's going over that we don't need at all like so zoom in uh, it's already on the teeth so we're going to lower the brush we're just going to take the pink off the teeth because we don't need that we want the original color to show through and zoom out now if that's still too bright for you you can bring the opacity down or do what you want like that and basically that's uh, the principle of making someone younger now yours is going to uh, be a lot better you could spend a lot more time on it uh, you know uh, make it your own really you know add different effects um, also if you wanted you can also uh, change the color of the person's clothes as this one's she's got pink um, a top on which is okay I mean I don't think it goes with her so if you was wanted to do that we're gonna merge all these layers down uh, like so and we're gonna go to the quick selection tool now we're just gonna go and select her top now if I wanted to change this just right there like that and from here we're going to go and press control and U press colorize and you can change the color to whatever you want basically um, see multicolors all different we're going to go for sort of like a, a red would be nice like there and then click OK Control and D to deselect something like that. Now I think that looks tons better. Obviously, it's not um, perfect, but you're gonna have a lot more time, as I said. Um, so I hope you like the tutorial, and please comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.